So welcome back. This video is all about consistency. QVScribe's consistency tab was built to solve issues with terms and units. We tend to see many errors in requirement documents that could be avoidable, but difficult to spot, especially with large documents filled with hundreds and thousands of requirements. So instead of using our memories or hoping that the person conducting a document review had enough coffee that day to spot all those errors, Instead, let's see how QEScribe tackles unit and term consistency. The most common problems with unit consistency are wrong units, mixed systems of units, and precision issues. So a unit is defined as a magnitude of a physical quality such as length, time, speed, or voltage. In requirement docs, there should be a good use of units throughout a set of requirements to give definite and measurable magnitudes to those quantities. So the consistency tab has a simple layout with a powerful platform. You have two buttons at the top to switch between units and terms. Under unit consistency, you have a filter with three options. Number one, showing all the units. Number two, showing only international systems of units and the third one showing inconsistent international systems of units. This will give you an option to quickly view unit discrepancies within the document. It's invaluable when you're dealing with hundreds of requirements and need to verify if all of them are consistently written in the same unit type. So ask yourself this, what would happen if a requirement, let's say number 103 was written in kilometers per hour and requirement 467 was written in miles per hour? Mistakes happen, but what if it's missed and approved? Which do you test? Which, spe which specification do you design to? This is why this section of the analysis is vital to creating better requirements. Just like the quality analysis, when you click on the requirement, it highlights the corresponding requirement within the document, so it's easier to locate. Let's move on to terms. Terms is built using natural language processing and pulls the nouns out of the document. You will see a list of terms to review. It's here so that you can start to ask yourself, am I using the correct terms throughout the document? So within the first column, you'll see terms are listed. Then the number of requirements that terms shows up in. Beside that, we have the number of other terms in the document that are similar to the select term. And in the last column, we have how similar the closest match is to the selected term. And lastly, if you are looking for a certain term, you can definitely search it in the search bar right here. Okay, so that officially ends the video on consistency. Join me in our next video surrounding similarity analysis.